this is for health personnel this is for health personnel so hold your ear and listen very well hi guys i am moisturizing my hand with nivea whoa how far today is may day happy may day to all workers everybody in fact we all work one way or the other we are all working so happy may day everybody and hope you guys are doing wonderful this month god will make us smile and laugh again and again amen somebody i am here to run to our people hmm, for just um three minutes please pardon me i'm packing my hair and if you are seeing any yama yama at the background i washed i'm yet to pack them i am here to rant if you are a health worker bra wenim come closer zona nga come here because it is our issue that i'm about to talk about and uh, what however the english sounds please take them like that it is our matter <laughs> so yesterday i watched antenna people that don't know antenna and are not Ghanaians. antenna is a it's a talk show people bring their issues people that don't have money to afford legal services they bring their problems people help them people that are soliciting for funds they also come then they get the help yesterday an uncle of a lady came reporting that her niece went to a said government hospital. A said government hospital. The doctor diagnosed the lady of fibroids. The mectomy was done. Unfortunately, intestines, which I guess was the large intestine, was perforated. So they kept the lady post operation day one till post operation day nine. The lady wasn't recovering. That was when the, the doctor taught it twice to refer the lady. It was getting to the referral facility. That was when the people got to know that. Mobano mm, ne intestine. How do you call intestine? Hey, please, if you know, put it in the conversation. I've forgotten. So it was getting to the referral facility. They got to know that the intestine of the lady had been perforated. They said they went to the, the doctor. And the doctor said he had heard rumors in the town that they are accusing him of doing that and that, perforating the lady's intestines. But he didn't come to kill people. He came for the good of the work, which is the motive of every, every health personnel or every doctor, every pharmacist, every nurse in this profession. So I don't know what happened, whether he didn't know or whether he knew. Apparently, the lady had been in the referral facility for two months now. I'll attach a little bit of the clips I saw from the video here so that you understand what I'm, I'm trying to say. What am I saying? Health professionals, the I know I know is sometimes too much. There are lawyers going around looking for medical legal issues to see you. They might sue you, take your license, sue you, you might be sacked from the work. Yes, you are working for government. Ghana Health Service or um, Christian Health Association of Ghana will help you. The Muslim mission might come in. But please, you cannot um, jeopardize your license that you scold for. Something that puts food on your table. You cannot do anything to put yourself at risk. If you do anything that is reported, there was no problem with the MO, the medical officer reporting to his medical superintendent. This is what has happened. Then they will take legal actions or if there is any way they have to support the lady, they will support the lady before the thing escalates. Now the whole Ghana has heard it. It's no longer their case again. You will get lawyers that will come after you. My concern or my advice to all health professionals which i am part is let's take our work seriously we do not take any patient for granted if you are i don't if you are doing so please desist from it and if you don't know how to provide the service don't force it 
um the host of the case who is answering now was saying that the guy is not um he is not a specialist whether gastrointestinal specialist or he is not an obstetrician and gynecologist yes it's true Channel. Medical and Dental Council. Our license are the operation and Yes, we are doctor. Okay, cool. Hey, our doctor, hey, our doctor. Yes, our license is so. And we do have license and our work. Yeah, yeah, doctor for you. Yeah, our specialist. Oh, hey, Akuma. Yeah, our specialist. Oh, hey, do so ta. Yeah, our specialist. When do you get or red diet? Or in reality, how many specialists are found in district hospitals? How many specialists? Sometimes you even try to refer the people, but they know that the higher they go, the more money they spend. So they try not to go. I don't know what the person thought, but in that person's position, the person thought he was doing what was best. Yes, and this happened. So but it's quite unfortunate this has happened. I pray for the ladies' family that the Lord will hold them together. The Lord will grant the lady speedy recovery. She will heal from the trauma she has been through. And hopefully all health personnel learn. So this is for health personnel. This is for health personnel. So hold your ear and listen very well. People are going around looking for mistakes eh, to bring to book. Don't be the one. No. Thank you. Please, if you have watched up to this, give me a thumbs up, like this video, share, and let me know if you like this kind of videos. We can talk about it, analyze it. It's already seven minutes. Okay, bye.